hey guys welcome to real time automation today we are going to see like how to run multiple scenarios in a feature file in my earlier videos i covered only a single scenario today i will be showing like uh, how to write a multiple scenarios and how to execute them and how to differentiate them with the tags while running i will be showing those in today's video this is a lag login feature that we have written in a our, in our last video so today what um, what we are going to do is like so extra thing that um, we are going to append is like email address last time what we did without entering email or password we clicked on sign in and we validated the username and password right today we are going to enter the only email address field and we are going to click on sign in this is our manual test case for scenario 2 um, I will copy paste the same scenario as we have all the things same only one okay so after clicking on sign in button here and um, enter email So uh, to generate, so this is a, let's say we have a user story 0, 0, 0, user story 0, 0, 1 and this is a user story 0, 0, 2, okay, okay, so let me comment, for comment we use hash here. So I want to generate the glue code for that one only, that particular one which I have written newly. So I'm going to take this one, user story two, and I am I will be running that one so that to generate um, glue code. Right click or uh, run run as unit. You can see in a console, um, the output um, means the glue code has been generated. What we'll do, we'll go, to, go directly to this step definition file, and very last we are going to add. It's it's not mandatory to add um, sequence sequel wise. It's it's up to you. Like wherever you can paste that glue code automatically the feature file will I'll take a look into it so this is the value the email value right here the email value will come from the feature file the value what we are given here is that one will be coming here I will take out the comments now okay so now you can see that uh, there is nothing uh, uh, the color has been changed so that uh, the implement the indication of that one is that we implemented it some uh, somewhere in the step definition I am going to inspect now that email field so you can see like ID we have a username and name also we have we'll go with id driver dot find by dot id the name username dot send keys 
so as the value is coming from here from the feature file we are going to paste that value here okay after that we are going to thread dot sleep so first we are going to see that only uh, that particular one what we have written newly it is going to work or not this one after that one we will run entire feature file okay everything is good. run as j unit so now it is going to open the um, browser chrome browser after that one it is going to um, expand or it's it will resize its shape to full um, then it is going to give the URL over there then after that one it is going to click the sign in link here now we should give the username yep school.gmail.com now it is going to click on sign in so it, then it is going to validate that invalid username password after that one it is going to close so you can see um, scenario one five steps passed okay so now we will try to run multiple scenarios uh, so uh, this is the tag that feature wise right how many uh, scenarios you have it is going to pick it up or else you want to run only one scenario then you should give the tag name like this and you, if you are giving this tag name it is going to run only this particular feature file so now we will run with we have already seen with a single uh, scenario right now we are going to run entire feature file So now it is going to run both the scenarios. One scenario is without giving the username and password, uh, email and password. Uh, it is going to click on sign in. Another one is like it will give the email and it is going to click on sign in. Now it is the first scenario it has run. Now um, it is running the second scenario. You can see. So now it is going to give you email address and then click on sign in. Yes. It is going to close the driver. Okay. So total two scenarios you can see and nine steps. And you can see in a JUnit result as well. It has run a two scenarios you can see here. thanks guys thanks for watching my video um, in my next video I'll be covering the background how you uh, what is background um, will work how it will work and uh, what is the preconditions and everything I'll be explaining that regarding that one in my next video thanks guys once again